Thank you. So I think it's a good segue from what she was talking about. I have this piece of contrast that I've been working really hard to just get off the subject altogether and distract myself. But it keeps coming back yes. because it matters and it's active in your vibration. Yes. So you've reached the point of understanding that recalibration is the work to be done. Yes. Yeah. So I was kind of hoping maybe you might be willing to help with a positive rampage into well, a soothing place. A positive rampage is a wonderful thing, but if you're calibrated in opposition to what you want, while you'll hear the words, it's not very effective. It would be better if we calibrate together. Great. It's like the elevator starts out slow and then you rampage. Yes. Yeah. So what's up? Um, so I was in this seat a few years ago with you about this sort of same subject, but I've evolved a little bit. All right. So that was more of a rampage in opposition, Sorry. wasn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. So I was in a relationship for a pretty long period of time and it was with an individual that I really sincerely thought was like the love of my life. And, but the, we just kept butting heads on this one thing that just wouldn't go away and last time you told me irrelevant okay so anyway i finally just decided to evolve out of the experience altogether and now i'm wanting to really more fully embrace that decision and and make peace with it feel soothing about it and be open to what's coming have you ever heard us say if you've been listening to us for a while you undoubtedly have heard us say make a decision and line up with it so today we are saying make a decision and calibrate to it yes yes so what is the decision that you want to calibrate to that something better is coming and um everything that occurred up until now was perfect but you see that's not what you said okay and it's all right what you said is you wanted to make peace with that and peace with that and something else that's coming they're kind of different things and so you sort of get wonky and in cross purposes so why would anyone want to make peace with anything because it gives you relief and under what conditions would that be most in your awareness when the thoughts are coming into your mind and so what kinds of thoughts come to you that make you want to soothe it just give us an example of where you are when they come and what kind of thoughts they are so like what the contrasting thoughts are or the thoughts that make you want peace okay. from this just um oh i don't know if i'll ever experience anything that was as amazing as that and what if that really was the person and i messed up all right so that's good those are strong so now let's put them in the book the situation is I let a relationship go and now I'm second guessing myself because maybe I shouldn't have let this relationship go that's the situation and the feelings that keep coming are I miss this person for this reason and I miss this person for this reason and I miss this person for this reason yes. those kinds of thoughts yes so let's calibrate one of those so give us an example um because you see what happens is those kind of thoughts are only occurring to you in your loneliness and maybe you jump too soon none of that makes any difference now the thing that matters now is that you calibrate toward what you want and regret isn't calibrating toward what you want and wishing you could do it over is not calibrating to what you want and beating up on yourself is not calibrating toward what you want it's holding you where you are and making certain that nothing that you want can come to you as long as you're doing that does that make sense to you yes. you've got to shift your point of attraction so just get hold of one of those sentences or thoughts that comes often and speak it to us and let's calibrate he was the one well there's more to that he was the one and i blew it yes he was the one and i blew it for an in-depth understanding of abraham hicks's teachings you can check out her life-changing audiobooks on audible which you can listen to for free taking advantage of the 30-day free trial yes or he was the one and and i i wasn't good enough which is it they're very different he may have been the one and we both may have missed it how's that so now, 
thoughts that feel better I wasn't making that stuff up it wasn't fun to butt heads it wasn't fun to have a rough ride we were both attracting that from each other neither one of us were in vibrational alignment with our inner being during those times it was a big thing that we both were pushing against it was a co-creation maybe a co-creation at its worst but it was a co-creation it was maybe a missed opportunity to calibrate while it was happening I didn't know about calibration I wasn't calibrating to what I really want I was responding to what was happening and so was he we were doing what almost everybody does we were seeing a situation we were responding to the situation and the natural inevitable thing happened as a result of it why what a good example for me to understand that what a good example for me to understand that this relationship or this person is sort of like a microcosm of the universe at large and that what's lighted up in me is what I most likely am to light up in someone else who I can't think of anything that could have happened in my life experience that would have been more meaningful to me or given me more understanding of how this all works boy it put a strong desire out there it put a desire out that I'm wanting not to find the perfect one I'm wanting to find someone who is calibratable from my point of view it's my ability to calibrate that is born out of this relationship more than wanting to find the perfect person this person was far from the perfect person I am far from the perfect person there's no perfect persons we are always going to be calibrating to what we want and what I've come away from this relationship knowing I want is now you start the rampage what do you come away from this relationship knowing that you want mutual appreciation mutual appreciation I came away from this relationship knowing that I'm going to continue to calibrate to that really that's where everything went wrong we are trying to calibrate to each other and neither one of us took the time to calibrate to our source so neither one of us were stable and we were looking to the other one to be stable and both of us mad at the other one for not being stable and finally we said there's no stability here let's get out of here <laughs> and so you don't want a replay of that what you've come to know about this is most people in most relationships are trying to calibrate to each other and that is really treacherous territory because first of all nobody's stable all the time and you're teaching each other dependency on something that will never be satisfying because what you're really wanting to calibrate to is all that you are and all that you're continually becoming and so oh the thing I took away from that more than all other things put together is that I want to tune into who I really am I want to be so lighted up with who I am that no matter what anybody else is doing I'm still steady because if I had remained steady the whole thing wouldn't have shaken down like it did if I'd been steady but we were both codependent on the other one being the steady one that's what we were born to come together to show one another we were looking to each other for something that we should not have been looking to each other for that's what's wrong with almost every relationship on the planet looking for love and stability and connectedness in all the wrong places looking for clarity in all the wrong places and now I know that and now I have the ability to calibrate to that and in doing so when I calibrate there there's a very strong possibility that that very person will come right back into my vibrational frequency but it won't matter because someone will someone with all of the positive aspects that I appreciated and someone who's ready to tune into who they really are oh I'm on my way to a stable enduring relationship because I can stand strong and calibrated and happy regardless of what's going on with the other in my new relationship we're not going to be beating each other up over whose weakness is the most important in the moment <laughs> it's not going to be a relationship of sacrifice and trying to make up for trying to fill the void with something that it can't be filled with I'm gonna calibrate myself into my alignment you are aren't you you just pretty much did don't you feel different about it all yes and so now the rampage of appreciation is appropriate I'm so 
happy that I met this person I feel like we are soulmates you were who came into this life experience together intending to help each other understand the key thing that's important not only in a relationships but in relationships to all things in physical form everything about everything is about sifting through and identifying what is wanted and inner being holding that constant steady attention to that and then me calibrating to that and then the cooperative components being gathered and everything else is manipulation that is calibration that is deliberate creation at its finest I'm so happy that we fulfilled our intention with each other and that we came together and that we showed each other that each of us were able to see so many positive aspects of one another and we also because the desire to be happy was so strong within each of us we also gave each other a reason to not feel good and to blame the other one we evoked within each other feelings of insecurity and feelings of sacrifice and all of that stuff that didn't feel good and in doing so while we were calibrating to what was not wanted there was a simultaneous calibration to what is wanted that went into each of our vortices who we really are and what we really want is now active and alive has been for a while and now I know how to calibrate to it I don't have any regrets about any of that because look what it produced look what's available for me look what's available for him too look what's available to us that if little by little I turn my attention to what I'm wanting then magnificent relationship will come into my experience one that I will recognize I will identify it I will isolate it by my positive attention to the positive aspects and then I will calibrate to it do you know what a book of positive aspects is it's a calibration to the best of someone or something when you make a list of positive aspects about a person or about a hotel or about a city or about a country or a world when you make a list of positive aspects you're deliberately calibrating to the way your source sees it which means you're lighted up that way and your environment has to show you that you say this video is just a small part of the amazing teachings of Abraham Hicks if you would like an in-depth understanding of her teachings, you can check out her life-changing audiobooks, which you can listen to for free, taking advantage of the 30 days free trial on Audible. Their collection of audiobooks is the biggest one on earth, and you can gain access to it by registering for a free trial of Audible using the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.